Hey guys, Craig here, and welcome to a GameMaker Studio 2 tutorial. Uh, the topic for today is inventory. This is something that's pretty widely requested because it's a really popular feature in a number of games. RPGs, action adventure, shooters, you name it, they have inventories. It's also a kind of complicated topic if you haven't done it before. So let's let's break it down. When you think about an inventory, uh, let me think of a couple example games here, maybe Pokemon and Skyrim, okay? Inventories in these games, they actually look pretty similar. And if you think of other examples, you realize those inventories are pretty similar too. It's usually an item, like an item name, and next to that is an amount. So like, how many of that item do you have? I think of your bag in Pokemon. You have Pokeballs, and next to it you have 10. You got 10 Pokeballs, and then Great Balls, and you have five of them, and Ultra Balls, you have one. Or in Skyrim, you have Iron Daggers, and you have three of them, or something like that. Let me also just know that this is the same project I used for the movement tutorial. If you haven't seen that, you should really check it out. For any kind of top-down game, it's super smooth, super nice movement, based off the stuff that the guys over at Butterscotch Shenanigans do in their games. It's pretty good, but you don't have to do that in order to be able to do this tutorial. We're just gonna stick it in the same player object. So if you're wondering where all that code came from, that is from that other tutorial. So you'll notice I have a sprite sword and a sprite potion chilling out up here. Just some, some little guys I threw together. Those are gonna become objects for this lesson. Uh, is just gonna make a really nice tangible example. We're gonna spread them around the room, we're gonna walk into them, we're gonna pick them up. It's gonna go into our inventory. So we can start by doing that. Let's go ahead and make you know our object sword. Boom. And we'll make object potion. And for what we're doing here, we don't need any code in there. The only thing we might do to make this kind of easy for ourselves, and you'll see, you'll see how this is going to come into play. So we're going to make another object called like object collectible or something to that effect, and we're going to make that the parent of both of these. So object potion is going to have obj collectible as its parent, and obj sword will have collectible as its parent. And now we come to our player. We're going to go ahead and throw in a create event. And in this create event, there's only going to be one line. We're going to go ahead and say inventory. That's our variable name. And our inventory is going to be equal to ds map create. So some of you have used data structures in GameMaker before. I know some of you haven't. It's not too complicated. A map is really just conceptually a pairing of two things, a key and a value. Think of a menu. It's a pairing of a dish and a price. So the price goes with the dish. Or a dictionary. You have a word and a definition. So definition matches to the word. So a map is really just that. You give it a key, you give it a value, they're stored together, and you can look things up by key. In GameMaker, this is just how you make a map, um, and I'll show you the functions that we'll need in order to put things into your inventory. So that's really it for the create event. We have, our, we have our objects down here. What we need to do now is add some collision code to be able to pick up our objects. So this is where the parent comes in handy. Um, rather than having to write collision code for our sword and our potion and you know everything else we might have as a collectible, armor, scrolls, yada, 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 we can just do it once, collectible. So as long as the objects you can pick up are children of this collectible, this code will work. Um, so we know we need a key and a value. Let's go ahead and start by thinking about what those might be. So we have our var key. Well, um, in Pokemon, the key is like the, the text, you know, Pokeball. The only problem with that is then you need to remember what strings are and like juggle them around. I think for us, it might be a little bit nicer to use the object index. Um, and you can access that by saying other dot object index, just like that. So other is a keyword that refers to the thing you're colliding with in this code. Um, yeah, so there's our key. That's the object ID of the thing we collided with. And our value is going to be equal to the amount that we've collected. So you could define this on one of your objects if you want to. Like maybe, say you pick up a coin purse or something. It might have an amount because maybe there's like 100 coins in the coin purse. So we would want to add 100 to our inventory. And we could pull that off the object. For now, just to keep it simple, we'll say it's 1 because... You collided with the sword, you picked up one sword. You collided with the potion, you picked up one potion. Okay, so there's our key and our value. Now we need to go ahead and add that to our inventory. So we'll say DS map add. We need the ID of our map, so that is inventory. That's what's stored in that variable. And then it needs a key and a value. And we just figured out the key and the value. So there you go. 
This code is all fine and dandy, but the problem with it, maybe you guys can guess, is that it's not additive. It won't aggregate things in your inventory. The code as it is right now is going to overwrite whatever the entry is under that key. So let's say you've picked up a sword, so your inventory now says sword 1. Um, with the code we have right now, if you hit another sword, it's just going to overwrite it. And it's going to say sword 1 again. But we know you would actually have two swords, right? So how are we going to fix this? Well, we need to see if we already have some of the objects. So we'll say if ds map exists, and this checks for existence of a particular key. Um, again, we need the ID of the map, uh, and here's the key. So if, say you already have a sword in your inventory, uh, you want to update your value to actually be whatever value you're adding, so one plus whatever value you already had. So we'll say ds map find value. Um, and this looks up the value out of the map if it exists already, which is what we're checking. Um, so inventory key, just like so. And now your inventory will give you, or sorry, your value will be whatever was in your inventory plus whatever you've added. So you're now adding a correct updated entry. Um, and to prove this to ourselves, we can just do a little show message. Um, and we'll say key plus our string key and our value plus a string of our value and we should see that it increments and we'll just test this in the room by throwing a couple swords in there and hitting them both um, let's do that we got a couple swords we'll throw in a potion and let's test it out all right so we hit our potion key three value one and two, and two, and two. And this is because we forgot something. After you collide with the object and pick it up and put it in your inventory, you want to make sure to delete it. So we'll say instance destroy, and we'll give it that other keyword again. And that'll make sure that once you've hit a potion, it actually deletes a potion. It doesn't just keep trying to pick it up like it was doing to me. So there we go. Key three, value one. And we got it. And there's our sword, key two, value one. And we'll do it again. And key two, value two. So it's actually incrementing correctly. And there you guys have it. That is a very basic inventory. Um, works with collectible items. There's a lot you can do from here. You can display your inventory in various ways. You can put things in it, take things out of it. We haven't talked about taking things out of it yet. Um, you can equip items from it. So there's really a lot more to be said. We're going to wait until a future set of episodes to do that. That way I don't just bog you guys down with too much information at once. Here's the code. You can pause the screen on it if you need to. This is what's in the collision. This is what's in the create. And um, that's all there is to it to get things into an inventory. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.